CEOs are the highest ranking corporate executives, and their compensation often reflects as much. Across the 350 largest companies in the United States, the average CEO made $14.5 million in 2019. All things being equal, it would take the typical American about 400 years to earn that amount. Not all CEOs are compensated equally however. At some of America's largest companies, chief executives make well more than double the amount the typical CEO earns, and hundreds of times more than most of the people who work for them. 24-7 Wall Street reviewed available financial disclosures filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission by all publicly traded companies of the 100 largest U.S. companies by revenue to identify America's highest paid CEOs. All executives on this list are ranked by their total compensation in fiscal 2019, while company revenue is listed for the most recent fiscal year. In addition to company revenue and CEO compensation, the ratio of CEO pay to the typical employee came from financial disclosures filed with the SEC. We only considered CEOs who are currently with their company. Most CEOs on this list head companies in the tech or financial services sectors. The vast majority of working Americans are paid primarily through a wage or salary. For CEOs of major corporations, this is not the case. Typically, multi-million dollar executive compensation packages consist largely of stock options and incentives designed to reward performance. For the chief executives on this list, base salary often does not exceed $1.5 million and accounts for a relatively small share of their overall pay. Whether or not the corporate leaders on this list are overpaid is a matter of debate. What is not, however, is that these executives are ultimately responsible for the success or failure of their business, effectively affecting the interests of thousands of employees and shareholders. Kathy Warden is one of two female executives to rank on this list. Warden has been the CEO of defense contractor Northrop Grumman since January 1, 2019, and was paid nearly $20 million in her first year in the role 177 times more than the typical employee. Warden has been with the company since 2008 and held a variety of executive-level positions. Before joining Northrop Grumman, Warden worked at defense contractor General Dynamics and manufacturing conglomerate General Electric. With annual revenue of nearly $147 billion, Chevron is the second-largest oil and gas company in the United States, trailing only ExxonMobil. Michael Wirth, who has been with the company for decades, assumed the CEO role in 2018. His reported compensation was nearly $20 million in fiscal 2019. Oil and gas companies have been hit hard during the COVID-19 pandemic. In that context, Chevron, under Wirth's leadership, purchased struggling competitor Noble Energy for $13 billion.